Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And I'm your host, Matt, and we continue on our march of the most popular WordPress contact form plugins in the WordPress space. And today we're taking a look at the granddaddy of them all, Gravity Forms, uh, one that is not in the WordPress repo. It is not free to use, but uh, for 39 bucks, you can get the contact form plugin installed on your website. And the idea here is this is a company that's been in business for a while. Uh, this is somebody that, uh, or a team of people that are very dedicated to building out this contact form plugin in uh, the in the add-ons and the ecosystem around it. So it is definitely one of the leading choices, if not the leader uh, of premium uh, commercial contact form plugins for WordPress. And I bring that up because we've been talking about business models and why you should choose a, a plugin uh, contact form plugin over another and it's either for its super super simplicity like contact form 7 and jetpack um, it maybe it's for their user interface and free to use features like ninja forms um, but and you don't want to go for, for buying add-ons and you just want something that's one going to be supported to continue to be developed and three have uh, an ecosystem of, of add-ons that you uh, can use and find support for and documentation for it's gravity forms right Let's show you how to set up a contact form with Gravity Forms. I'm going to go ahead and hit Add New. We're going to call this Contact Form New with capital letters, so I can't mistake it. I can put in a form description here. Uh, this is a new field or a new form. Uh, I've been providing my feedback along the way, as I do with a lot of my videos. And uh, one of the things I don't like that <laughs> Gravity Forms doesn't do, because I'm so used to it from seeing it from other forms, is it just doesn't give me this little quick insert uh, um, template, right? If I just want to create a contact form like I want to show you today, there's no super fast way to do it. Though it only takes a few minutes, um, a lot of these other form builders are just giving me the option to say, use this uh, starting contact form, so I do appreciate that in other ones. But let's take a look how easy it is. Uh, advanced fields, I want to get a name. I click on name. The name shoots over to the left. Fairly easy. I say, give me your website. Give me your email address. And then I go back to the standard fields and I say, leave me a comment. And just for a few clicks of a button, um, name, website, email, and this text area has been inserted. Uh, so I'm going to drop down the little editor uh, a little drop down thing. I'm going to give that field label a comments uh, or questions. And I'm going to update the form. As you can see, I can kind of go through and, and check off which ones are required. Um, I can do things like give it a duplicate or excuse me, give, excuse me, give it a description. Um, I can give it a max characters. I can do the appearance thing where I can put in placeholder text. I can put in some custom class, CSS classes, field size, uh, then I can go advanced, uh, more advanced things like uh, who's this who is this available to see in terms of visibility, rich text editor. I can do all these different things. And I can also duplicate or remove these fields with the little helper buttons um, right up here. Again, talking about the experience of building a contact form, uh, Gravity Forms for a premium contact form plugin, uh, Lagging behind is not the best word to use or the best phrase to use. It's a very familiar interface, but what we're seeing is a lot of these other builders, like let's say Ninja Forms, building this immersive, more app-like feel. And it's totally up to your taste because um, you know I know I uh, say that, look, if the wheel's not broke, why fix it? Is that the saying? <laughs> it's something like that. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, and I feel like Gravity Forms is taking that approach and that's totally awesome. Um, and this is not complicated to use, right? So you're not digging through things. It's all right here. Um, it's just maybe not as trendy and that's, and that's okay, right? So I've created that form. I've clicked update. Uh, you don't need to put in a submit form or, or submit button. Uh, but as you can see, because con uh, Gravity Forms is, uh, it, you know, an all-you-can-eat solution, so you buy it and you get all of these options, uh, depending on what level you, you buy, uh, you get all of these fields here. There's nothing, you know, deactivated or, or hidden or there's no upsell to the next level, uh, that's for sure. So that's it. I, uh, I create that form. I go back to my global forms just so you can see it all. Uh, the one thing they don't do, which a lot of other folks do, is they give you that short code uh, right here on the screen. They don't do that here. Um, but you can, you know, quickly get to things like the settings, the entries, um, duplicate these things or trash that. But that's okay. So we head on over to our pages. Go to the home page. 
and I will delete the ninja forms that I had before. And we can just simply click on add form. Which one do I want? I want that new contact form that I just created. Uh, do I want to display the form title? No. Do I want to display the form description? No. Uh, any advanced, advanced options? This is for tab index. So the tab button uh, on your keyboard will sometimes, uh, depending on how, how many other fields are on the web page that you're putting this in or any form in, Tabbing between fields is something that somebody can quickly do with a keyboard, but sometimes if there's more fields than, uh, than just your contact form, it can kind of get mixed up so you can fix that here. Anyway, insert that form. There it is. There's a short code, drops a short code in. We hit update. Let's take a look at that form on the homepage. Again, we're using the baton theme. It's free. Uh, it's one of the themes that my company makes. You can get it on wordpress.org. You can see that this is it. First name, last name, website, email, comments, submit. It's as easy as pie. <laughs> um, and that's all you have to do for a contact form, right? Going back into Gravity Forms, uh, once again, if we go into our forms, um, we can do, go into our settings and we can go into our form settings. And again, a very powerful tool. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with Gravity Forms that you might not be able to do with other forms, although they're all sort of competing at these, you know, automation levels, these integration levels, these um, conditional logic levels. And you can do all that stuff like, you know, for example, here's the form button. If I wanted that to say something else other than submit, I could say, you know, yes, yes, contact us or contact me. I can use the text. I can do an image. Um, I can paste an image, uh, a link to an image button, that kind of thing. Um, again, going back to you know, overriding that text to say, yes, contact me. I can do some uh, conditional logic and you can do these conditional logic bits and pieces um, on many of the fields across Gravity Forms. It gets a lot more technical, but you know, you can say things like show this form button if all of the following uh, match. So uh, maybe they can't see that button until the comments or questions field is, uh, you know, or contains a value. So maybe one, uh, you know, contains one, uh, or one piece of text is, is typed in. Um, or maybe it doesn't show up until the email is, uh, you know, greater than whatever. You can set up these conditional things uh, and you can um, do that with a lot of fields across Gravity Forms. Same thing with confirmations. Go into the confirmation section. Sorry, as I make some weird noises. Um, you can set up multiple confirmations. Send out to multiple people with different messages. Um, to do things with different pages. This fly is back. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is making for great tutorial videos. Um, you can set uh, the different confirmations to go out. So you can say, thanks for contacting us, leave a message. You can redirect it to a different uh, uh, URL. You can show a different page. Um, you can pass data through to that next page. Some pretty powerful things that you can do. Um, and then notifications. These are the emails that go out, right? So you can set up, um, you know, which email do you want to go out to? Do you want a specific field uh, that was in the contact form to get mailed to? You can do routing. Um, lots of powerful things that you can do with uh, the email notifications. Then, of course, entries. You'd see all of your entries here uh, for your contact forms. Um, great for somebody who's using their, their contact forms as a sales tool, a lead generator, um, you know, an event or registration organizer, that kind of thing. The add-on section is where Gravity Forms really shines. Uh, again, you'd be buying their, um, their package at, and I should probably take a look uh, at what their prices are. That would be smart. So buy Gravity Forms. For 39 bucks, you can get it, uh, access to install that and update that on one site and no add-ons included. 99 bucks a year gets you the basic add-ons included and installed on three sites. And for a buck 99 a year, you can use it on unlimited sites, get all of the add-ons um, and priority ticketing support. This is you know, the best value for somebody out there who's building uh, a lot of websites for a lot of customers, right? So back to the add-ons. Here we are, we have a lot of powerful stuff um, that people need to use to run their business. So accepting payments, right? You want to set up a payment field and you use the popular authorized.net, which a lot of people do in the U S I know that for a fact. Um, yes, SSL is required. Uh, make sure you do have that set up before you go and create a payment form. Um, but 
this goes to show you that Gravity Forms is really positioning itself as, look, as easy as that was for me to set up that contact form, it doesn't have, it, you know, it's probably overkill for that. But, you know, for 39 bucks, you can get something that you can do that with fairly easy. Um, but this is about more. We want you to accept payments. We want to integrate into your email marketing. Uh, we want to integrate into your customer relationship management software. If you want to send files to Dropbox, uh, if you want to get some invoicing done through FreshBooks, uh, if you want to take support requests through Help Scout, uh, you can do all that stuff. If you want to do a signature add-on where somebody uh, accepts a, uh, a contract and they have to sign for it as I punch myself this darn fly. I hope this is making for entertaining tutorials. Um, so Gravity Forms is a lot more than just a contact form. And I think that's the message that they want to get out. Um, again, they're not in the WordPress repo for free. You do have to part with at least $39 uh, per year to get a basic contact form uh, running through them. But again, you're in this ecosystem where maybe you want to upgrade later on and get access to these add-ons. It's a very, very powerful tool made by a team that really cares about their software. Ah, it's PluginTut.com. I hope you appreciate videos like this. If you do, go ahead and share it with friends and family. Upvote it. Let me know in the comments what you like, what you dislike. Are you sick and tired of me fighting off this fly? Well, guess what? I got two more form plugins to go <laughs> and we'll be done with this, uh, with this series. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, your host, Matt. I'll see you next time.